Hey, hey, Kat, how you doing this morning? Oh, it's a good morning in Montana. It's a little rainy out here, but it's nice for the pastures. Keeps everything green. <laughs> creeks high and rising. Creeks, creeks are a little high and rising, unfortunately. You have a new book coming out, or another book coming out. I do. I have a book coming out, but it's uh, it's actually an old book that they're they put a new cover, beautiful cover actually, uh, Magnificent Passage. It was the first book I ever wrote, so it sort of has a it's sort of it's sort of a good news and bad news for me because it is my first book, and I look back after 50 books and think of all the things I would do differently in it now if I had the chance, but. Well, it was a different time, was it, was it not? It was a different time, and we were writing a little bit harder edged, I think, romances, more, we called them modest rippers, because the guy was always ripping off the heroine's clothes. And my hero doesn't actually rip off any clothes, I don't think, but he's pretty, pretty male. He's pretty dominant, so it's a little different than what the romances today are. And this is a historical? It's a historical, but it's a Western romance, and I chose that subject as my first book because uh, my husband had written a, a Western novel, um, and that's really what put the idea in my head to, to try writing. But I hadn't written a, but the Western part of it was just, I knew the Old West. I mean, my family were Western people. I loved the history of the West, had read a lot about the books set in the West. So I, it was a natural first choice for me. It was a set, book set in the West. And I still tend toward that a little bit. This book is coming out when? It's out July 1st. And uh, as I said, I, I sort of asked everybody to cut me some slack on this because it's my first book. But it, was, it does have a lot of, I think the thing that sold it originally was I had a lot of emotion in the book. Uh, you know, your first book is your, you're working, I wrote it 32 times from front to back. I went through it 32 times trying to get it uh, written well enough to publish to get somebody to buy it, which as it turned out they did and they, and they, they chose it as the lead book for a new, new line, so I got a little bit of a push on that part of it, too. And uh, you've written a lots of historical sense and lots yeah. of... Actually, yes, I have. In fact, I've lately kind of gone back to the West a little bit. I wrote a, a trilogy uh, that started out, was the first book of the trilogy, Against the Wind, was set in Wyoming at a ranch in Wyoming. So it's kind of coming back around for me a little bit, full, full circle. But this one, this one has a little bit of a... Uh, it's kind of near and dear to my heart in some ways, but as I say, it is my first, but it might be, you know, I'm hoping readers will have fun reading it. And the cover? Cover is great. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a really nice cover. Uh, Vanguard re, re, just took the old cover completely off and put a new one on. It's just really nice. You know, uh, you mentioned that your grandmother had a riding skirt. Can we take a look at it? Oh yeah, my, actually my grandmother, all of our family were Western people and they were rodeo people starting back in 1890s. They were in the rodeos. My grandmother was a relay, relay rider. She was in one of the original cowgirls. And 1916, she was in the rodeos already. So that kind of was played through my whole life from the early days. And I have her riding skirt, which looks like Annie Oakley's riding skirt. It turned out to be pretty valuable. We didn't, we didn't even think of that at the time. But, but it's a kind of a personal treasure of mine to keep it here at the house. And you've got horses on your Montana place now, don't you? We do. We have three horses. They're kind of more pets than they are stuff we ride. The guys use them ride them a little bit once in a while, but most of the time they're just running around the fields entertaining us with their antics. Let's take a look at that skirt. You got it. That is quite a piece. It is actually pretty wonderful. I know we made this stand to set it on because, and we keep it up here in the, in the library, but it's, you can see it's a split skirt like Annie Oakley wore with the fringe and the whole deal. And these were her cuff guards that she actually told me she wore them to, uh, they drove a team of horses on their property they had and they would have a bull whip when they were driving the, the horses and they are just like a four four or six horses I guess and they didn't want the whip to come back and wrap around their arms so they they wore these cuff guards my her she and her sister wore them pretty cool story kind of like gauntlets gauntlets yes that's what they wore they were. that that has to be quite a historical piece is it uh, yeah, they're really something special. She said she bought it in, she bought it in 1916. She bought it. I think she might have bought it out of Sears catalog or something. I really don't know where she got it, but I think that may have been it. But of course it's, they're so rare. I mean, most of the women wore skirts even, you know, in those days, not too many women, even though they were working on the ranch, they didn't wear these. She told me that when they rode through the sagebrush and stuff, that this was great with a pair of boots, you know, that, you didn't get the sagebrush in there. That's a split skirt, right? For riding. Split riser, right. That's amazing. Yeah. We have a lot of treasures here at the house, actually. Look, not more historic. I mean, they're not treasures to maybe somebody else, but to, to uh, you know, to uh, family treasures. Right, family treasures. So this is one of our prizes. 
Well, we look forward to reading this. Uh... Gibson Passage. That's the first book, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's, I hope you have fun with it. And you're pleased with the cover. I love the cover. I think the covers are beautiful. And Vanguard? Vanguard Press has it out, and uh, it should be, it's also out in the ebook. It Kindles and Nooks and all, anything you want that way. And comes out when? July the 1st. Thanks so much. You bet. Thank you.